About a year and a half ago, Eva Delgado made a commitment that got her where she is today. This is the happiest that I've been in a long, long time. But it's been a journey on medication for type 2 diabetes, carrying excess weight and struggling with lack of energy and other health risk factors. Eva made a lifestyle change with the goal of improving her health and reversing disease, a change that began with her mindset. I had to be positive. I had to be motivated. I had to set my goal of what I wanted to achieve. Next came an overhaul in her nutrition. Eva transitioned to a plant-based way of eating, enjoying the process of preparing her meals. Then came movement, exercise she did right outside her own home. I think many people have heard, okay, you should go on a better diet, you need to exercise, but how do you really do this? And what is the evidence behind this? Internal medicine doctor Rajiv Mosquita is the medical director of the Lifestyle Medicine Department at Kaiser Permanente, South Sacramento. His work involves not only treating patients with chronic disease, but also educating them on how to prevent or even reverse it. Something that's a challenge for some patients to grasp at first. They know that they have to take medications, but is there a another method to actually treat this that could be more holistic and maybe even reverse the disease. Along with nutrition and exercise, another key component of lifestyle medicine is stress reduction. Dr. Mesquita suggests three ideas to help keep anxiety at bay. First, practice daily moments of mindfulness. Just take a minute out from what you're doing. You can close your eyes, take a deep breath, and then focus on your breath. Next, take a walk. And just walking outside takes your mind off everything and it's almost like meditation. And finally, find gratitude about something that happened in your day. Studies have shown repeatedly that uh, having gratitude actually makes you feel better. No drastic measures, no magic pills, simple steps that anyone can take today. It's more than just treating the disease, it's transforming their lives. As someone who's proof that transformation is attainable, Eva encourages others to find balance in their professional and personal lives to make lifestyle changes like this happen. It's been a very, very gratifying journey for me because I am so busy and I'm still able to make it work. With only one regret. What took me so long, right? What took me so long? I should have done this years ago and I didn't, but it's never too late to start. Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News.